Hello, this is a neat pattern question. The structures seen here are, I'll give you uh, 10 seconds to answer this. All right, let us look at the answer. The answer here is pseudo unipolar neurons. Pseudo unipolar neurons, uh, in contrast to multipolar and bipolar, Multipolar is just a, a cell body which has a lot of processes okay, and one of these processes is very long and that is called an axon. Uh, by definition, axon will carry information away from the cell body and dendrites will carry the information neuronal signal towards the cell body. What is bipolar? Bipolar is a cell body which has two processes. Multipolar has many processes. Bipolar has two processes. One of the processes will carry the information towards the cell body. The other process will carry information away from the cell body. So by definition, this is an axon and this is a dendrite. Now what is a pseudo unipolar neuron? Pseudo unipolar neuron is a cell body. I'm just ballooning it up. And with this cell body has a process. Okay, this is the process of that cell body and that process divides into two. Actually, soon after uh, origin from the, of that process from the cell body it divides into two. And one of them is uh, peripheral. This is called a peripheral process. The other is called a central process because this, is, this process is going towards a CNS. And this process is going towards a periphery. Uh, so uh, this process, process number one, will be carrying signal towards the cell body and process number two uh, will be carrying uh, information away the signal away from the cell body so functionally the process number two is an axon functionally and this is a dendrite but anatomically uh, you have only a single axon this is that single axon uh, but that divides into a functional uh, dendrite part and a functional axon part so this is a pseudo unipolar neuron now, what is the interesting thing about the pseudo unipolar neurons? That is a, it's a large, uh, you know, roundish uh, spherical cell body which has a nucleus which is relatively in the center and which will have a nucleolus because uh, this is an active neuron. Now, around these, around these uh, cell bodies, neuronal cell bodies, you will have satellite cells. Satellite cells will be, uh, are, are, you know, the, the peripheral glial cells. So, these cells will be found around it. Uh, you should understand that this will be found three-dimensionally around it, a single cell body, a roundish cell body, and the uh, nuclei will be, the satellite cells will be around it. Now, that is about a pseudo-unipolar neuron. Now, let us look at where this is seen. This is, the so pseudo-unipolar neuron is seen typically in the dorsal root ganglion. This is called the DRG. This is a section of a spinal cord, and you can see that uh, you have a dorsal root, and a ventral root. The ventral root does not have any uh, ganglia, but the dorsal root has a ganglia. And you can look at this this arrangement. You can see a, a, a button here, which has a process, which divides into two. That is actually showing the pseudo unipolar neuron present in the dorsal root ganglia. So this is a very, very common question. Uh, where pseudo unipolar neurons will be seen? The answer is dorsal root ganglia. You can also see these in other sensory ganglia. Dorsal root ganglion is a sensory, it's an example of a sensory ganglion. Uh, you also have other sensory ganglia in the body. Most importantly, you have to know cranial nerve ganglia, cranial nerve sensory ganglia, most importantly, the trigeminal ganglion. Then other ganglia also, the like uh, the, the, the facial nerve ganglia or the glossopharyngeal ganglia, or the vagal uh, nerve ganglia, they will all have uh, pseudo unipolar neurons. So all sensory ganglia, including the dorsal root ganglia, are examples of pseudo unipolar neuron. Now let us have a look at this ganglion and this cell body in the histology section. This, as you can see here clearly, is the spinal cord. Here we are seeing the H-shaped gray matter. That is the H-shaped gray matter and the surrounding structure is the white matter. And uh, this is the dorsal side, this is the ventral side because the, the ventral part of the gray matter will be much more thicker than the dorsal root which is much more thinner. Uh, from the dorsal side you can see a dorsal root coming here and this, this structure that you see here, this is the dorsal root ganglion. So let us have a look at the dorsal root ganglion in a more uh, zoomed in 
manner you can see nerve fascicles these fascicles are dividing the dorsal root ganglia into clusters the dorsal root ganglia have clusters of neuronal cell bodies and you can see that these neuronal cell bodies let me just take an annotation tool and show you that this is relatively rounded cell bodies these are uh, neurons these are pseudo unipolar neurons and as you can as you see in the previous picture uh, the pseudo unipolar neurons are typically round and they have a central round nucleus with the nucleolus in it you can see that nucleus and the nucleolus in it and that is that is also very clearly seen here and around this uh, uh, the cell bodies you can also see the arrangement of uh, satellite cells these are satellite cells this is a satellite cell this is a satellite cell this is a satellite cell so satellite cells are typically arranged just like uh, you know satellites around uh, a planet they are just arranged around a uh, rounded cell body of a pseudo unipolar neuron so this typical arrangement is seen in a dorsal root ganglion and you know the most characteristic feature that you see here are clusters of uh, pseudo unipolar neurons uh, present here each of these cells have surrounding satellite cells and this cluster and this cluster separated by nerve fascicles so these are nerve uh, fascicles these are nerve fiber fascicles that is separating uh, this cluster okay the separating this cluster from this cluster and that arrangement is typically seen in a dorsal root ganglion thank you